Good day, my dear students. It is a warm and sunny day today. Before we start our discussion, let us begin with a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sins against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. Amen. Again, good day to every one of you. May I know who is absent today? It is nice to hear that no one is absent today. Because of that, give yourselves five claps. Now class, do you still remember the topic that we have tackled last time? What was our topic last time? Our previous topic was all about the different kinds of graphs. And what are those graphs? Correct! These are line graph, bar graph, pictograph, and pie graph. Very good! Now, I prepared a short game about the different kinds of graph. The title of the game is Who Am I? Are you ready, class? First one, I am a kind of graph that shows changes in value and quantity. Very good. It is a line graph. Next, I am a kind of graph that can be used to show comparison of different amounts. Correct! A bar graph. Next, I am a kind of graph that shows the quantity using pictures. Very nice! That is a, pic a pictograph. Last one, I am a kind of graph used to show the relationship of parts in a whole. Excellent! It is a pie graph. Very good, class. It seems that you already know the different kinds of graph. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now, let us move on. I have here a chocolate cake. Behind every piece or slice of cake are some questions that you must answer. If you get the correct answer, you will get a corresponding point. Your score will depend on how big the slice of your cake is. Ready? Class, what is the shape of our cake? Correct! Our cake is a circle in shape. Now class, what have you observed to the slices of cake that you have? That is right. Our cake has different sizes. I gave you a cake with different slices because it has something to do with our discussion today. Before I start our discussion, I want all your eyes and ears with me. Listen to our discussion because we have some activities that you have to answer after. Okay? Okay, for today, I will show you how to interpret a pie graph using a given data. Just like the slices of cake, we are going to discuss why other got the smaller one and a bigger slice. So, our topic will be on how to interpret a pie graph. But before that, you must know how to analyze data and solve word problems involving data presented in a pie graph. I have here a problem, and I will show you how to analyze and interpret a pie chart. The Magana family is consisting of five members. Every month, Mrs. Di Magana is planning a budget for their expenses. As you can see, the data shows the monthly expenses of the Magana family. The biggest part of the budget is allocated on their food, and it took 35% of the monthly budget. The smallest part of the budget is 10% and it is for the savings. Other expenses are for the school allowance which consumes 18% of the budget and some other expenses for 15%. Now, how much is the total percentage of the Magana's monthly budget? That is right! The Magana's family has a total of 100% for their monthly budget. This is how to analyze a pie chart using a set of data in a word problem. 
we can read and we can answer questions about the pie chart if we know first what a pie graph is all about and what information or the data written on the graph, especially the division of percentage per cut. Do you understand, class? Now, I will show you another pie graph. Look at the graph and try to interpret it and let us see if you can solve a word problem regarding the circle graph. 3G is a grade 6 student in Cabanatuan East Central School. His parents are giving his allowance every week to teach him how to manage his own money at his early age. Here is how 3G spends his allowance. 3G is spending 50% of his allowance in food, 30% for transportation, 10% for other expenses, 10% for his savings. Now, let me see if you can answer this. What is the pie chart all about? Correct! That is about 3G's weekly allowance. Which part of 3G's allowance has the highest percentage? That is right! Food has the highest percentage for 3G's allowance. Next, what percent is allocated for food from 3G's allowance? Very good! 50% of 3G's allowance is for his food. How about for his transportation? Correct! 30% for 3G's transportation. Now, let me see if you can answer this. Do you still remember how to calculate a percentage of a number? Okay, can you tell me how to calculate the percentage? Correct! To calculate a percentage of a number, we have to divide the given percent by 100 then multiply it to the number. If 3G has a 300 peso allowance every week, how much is he spending for his food? That is right. 3G is spending 150 pesos for his food every week. Good job, class! Since you really know how to analyze and interpret data presented in a pie graph, it is understandable that you can answer questions regarding the pie graph. Am I clear, class? Since you already know how to interpret and analyze a circle graph, I will give you an activity and you have to answer the given questions. You will do it by group. I will give you 15 minutes to answer this activity. Please do cooperate with your groupmates and do the activity with minimal talking. Understand? Are you all done? Now, let us answer the question. But first, let us read the word problem. For our directions, read and analyze the pie chart below. Answer the following questions. Pizzeria is the oldest pizza restaurant in the city. Every day, they are selling 200 boxes of pizza. They have 5 different pizza toppings. They are selling the pizza according to the customer's choice. 45% of the sold pizzas were Hawaiian toppings, 20% were pepperoni, 80% were bacon, 10% were cheese, and 7% were ham. Now, let us answer the given questions. Number 1. Which pizza topping is the customer's favorite? Right, Hawaiian toppings is the customer's favorite. What percentage does this topping get? Correct! Hawaiian toppings get 45%. If they are selling 200 boxes of pizzas per day, how many boxes of pepperoni pizza are being sold every day? That is right! The pizzeria is selling 90 boxes of pepperoni pizza. What is the least percentage of the pizza topping were sold? What is it? Half pizza gets 7%. Nice work, everyone. I am proud of you. Because of that, give yourselves a round of applause. To sum up our lesson for today, who can tell me how to analyze data presented in a pie graph? That is right. To analyze the information presented in a pie graph, we must first to know what the graph is all about. Then, 
see the data of percentage for every component that makes up the whole graph. Very good! Any idea? At first, we must analyze the given data. We should be very particular in every data that is given. Then, now we can interpret our pie graph. Very nice! To sum it up all, in reading, analyzing, and creating data presented in a pie graph, it is very important to look smartly on every detail or data written. Do you have any questions about our topic? If none, I will give you an individual activity and let us see if you really understand our lesson. Get one whole sheet of paper. Direction. Answer the following question. Base your answer from the pie graph given below. Are you through? Now, let us answer the activity. For the first problem, the following pie graph shows the way of a group of students come to school in the morning. Use the information to answer the questions. What percentage of the students go to school by bus? The students who are going to school by bus is 25%. Number two, how many students go to school by bicycle? Correct! 30 students go to school by bicycle. Number three, how many students are there in this survey group? Correct! There are 200 students. Very good! Let us move on the second problem. Makalinga family went to a family vacation last summer. Use the information below to analyze the pie graph and answer the following question. For the number one question, what percentage did Makalinga family spend on souvenirs? Correct! 15% was spent by the Makalinga family for their souvenirs. Number two, how much money did they spend on food? That is right! They spent 2,000 pesos for their food. For the last question, how much money did they spend in total? Very good! Makalinga family spent 20,000 pesos for their family vacation. That is the end of our discussion. But before we end our class, I will give you your assignment to be submitted tomorrow. That is all for today, class. Thank you very much for listening. Do not forget to answer your activities. Keep safe and have a great day ahead.